Hey all, it's Rom at Lancelot Video. Today I'll show you how I edit my videos through DaVinci Resolve and use a wonderful tool called Canva. So uh, let's get to it. Right now DaVinci's open. I'm going to my media storage. As you can see, these are all my short videos and my intros. And here's a picture of what I'm going to be using for Canva. So let's go into the edit screen. Now the reason why I'm in the edit screen is because I'm going to start pulling my videos from the media pool into my playback and then start putting it on the timeline. As you can see this is an intro where I'm actually talking and then I have other intros where it's just the Lancelot video icon or envelope. So we'll do a quick edit here. As you can see on the right it's unedited, so we'll have to get the splicer icon. Okay, so I'm going to use the blade to cut out the part where I'm actually going into the screen. As you can see here, I'm just about to start the video. Put my hat on, and I'm ready to go. So that has to be gone. Click on your left mouse button. It'll show a red line. Move up the playhead. So now I'll go ahead and use the select tool and move up to where I want to start. Uh, there's a little pause here as well, so that has to be edited out. Take the blade, splice, go back to select mode, move this part, and then we can just start the video from here. So after my video bumper, I also want to use my, my emblem for my intros, so I'll bring that down. This is also another intro, a video bumper I use. Bring that down and we could just splice it in the beginnings. So now let's play the video. You see the video bumper and then I add my intro. Okay so this is the video bumper with me speaking and then we have the Lancelot video icon. So let's bring in the video that I'm going to be editing. Okay once again we'll go up to our media pool. I'll bring down Okay, and this is the short video I'll be editing. What I'd like to do here is add a picture from Canva on this wall. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here we are in Canva. Next step is to create a design or animation or graphics to add to my video. So we'll hit create a design and we'll click on custom sized for the dimensions. Okay, I'll make the dimensions 2000, 2000. Okay, so let's say I wanna add a design to my video. Like I said earlier, I wanted to add a picture, so we'll go to Elements, and we can type in pictures, and we can add any pictures we want. Scrolling down, you can add any of these images, but for me, I'd like to add a picture frame. So I'll just click on the picture frame. Okay, so here's the picture I wanna use. I can resize it. We can make it smaller or bigger by pulling on the edges with the arrows. But for me, I'll go ahead and make them a little bit smaller because this is going to be going on the wall in the video. Okay, so I'm pleased with the image. I'll hit download. Make sure it has PNG. Then I'll go ahead and hit download. Okay, so once we have the download, there it is. The design, we'll go ahead and open DaVinci. Once it's in the media pool, I'll bring it down into my video. And obviously right now you'll see it's, it's, it's quite big, but we'll go ahead and make it smaller to attach it to the, to the wall here. Okay, so now we have picture on picture. And obviously this is too large, so we'll go ahead in the bottom left here, we'll click on this icon, go to inspector, and we'll go ahead and make this smaller. And put it up against the wall here. That's a little too small, so let's make it a little bit bigger. And I don't want any of this whiteness in this in this picture. Just want the picture itself against the wall. So in that case, I'll just go ahead and click on cropping, which is still an inspect inspector. And we could move it to the left and right, top and bottom. Okay, so we've done the cropping and the picture seems a little small, so I'll go ahead and go back to transform and pull the edges 
to make it just a little bigger. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, so now if we hit play, you'll see that the picture is there and it disappeared. So we're gonna have to make this longer. And then we'll go ahead and bring the length all the way to the end of the video. So that picture will constantly be on the wall. So I have a hit play. So you'll see the picture that I downloaded from Canva right there on the wall. Okay, now that I showed you pictures, I wanna go ahead and show you animated graphics. So let's go back into Canva. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to do an animated graphic. This time I wanna show some bees. So we'll click on animals, click on this three lines here and go ahead and click on animated, apply the filters and you'll see all the animated animals that I can use. For my video, I want to use a B, so I'll click on a B and just pull it over to the right here. And of course, we'll have to resize it. Next, we're going to have to go ahead and click on animate the background, click on the color wheel, and we can select green. Now we'll download this and let's get back into DaVinci. Okay, so we're back in DaVinci. In the media pool, as you can see, here is my bee, the animated bee. And the reason why it's green is because now we have to create a chroma key in DaVinci. So let's go into color. Now, this is going to be a very simple video, so I don't want to make it too complicated. But basically, click on color and add a alpha output. Once we do that, we create this node, which adds an alpha channel output now like i said i don't want this to be too difficult so we'll go ahead and go back to the, our edit screen so let's go ahead and back into edit i pull down the animated graphic and as you can see if i press play we can have the let me just turn the audio off we have the picture that we added and we have the animated b it stopped because I didn't make it long enough, but if I wanted to, I could just stretch it out. Okay, so the last piece here is to add text. Okay, so here we are in text. I'll bring over the text that I want to use. And I'll just change this to a sound that the bee will be making. Another cool feature is to animate how this lettering will occur on the video. Uh, you can have a fade, a fade or a shift, but let's, let's just go ahead and use fade. And of course, if you're not pleased with the color, we just go ahead and click on this A, and we can just change the color of this text. Okay, so we're back in the media storage. I downloaded the text. As you can see here, and now I'll go ahead and go to edit and bring this down into our timeline and go into color to create a chroma key. This is, like I said, for another video. So let's get back into our edit and run our video. So right now we have everything we created through Canva, our text, our animated graphics and our picture. Of course, I'll have to probably do some editing, but you have the gist of how we can go ahead and use Canva as a great tool within DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so that's all I got for you today. If you have any questions, please go ahead and send me through email or enter in comment section. I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Please as well like and subscribe. Uh, this is Ram at Lancelot Video.